Alright, welcome back YouTubers to the Anonymous Miner channel, and today I'm actually going to be going over a question in a comment that I received recently on one of my YouTube videos. So, I've got Nazar right here, and it says, Hi, can you give me a tutorial on how to mine BitTorrent in uh, BitTorrent coin in HiveOS using Unminable Pool? Honestly, until now, I'm still confused. Thank you. And I said, yes, I can do that, and here we are. So I'm going to pop right into this video. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is come over to HiveOS. I've got my flight sheets pulled up on my test farm here, and we're going to create a new flight sheet. So the first thing that we need to figure out for this flight sheet is what we're going to mine. So I've come over here. Uh, I have some RX 570s on this test rig today. And so I'm going to test the first thing. I know I can mine Kapow right here, and I also know that I can mine uh, ETC hash. These get, uh, cards don't mine ETH hash so well anymore, especially because they're on a RebTech motherboard with 4 gigabytes of RAM. So because of that today, I'm going to be testing ETC, Ethereum Classic, or Kapow. So the first thing I'm going to do is I know they pull about 10 mega hash. So if I put 10 mega hash in right here, it'll tell me that I'm going to be getting about 361 BitTorrent per day, or 10,000 BitTorrent a month with one card. Now the rig I'm going to be switching over has three cards so it'll actually be about 30 mega hash which means I'll be getting about 1,083 bit torrent per day. Now let's compare that to ETC hash. I know these cards can pull about 30 mega hash. Uh, yeah about 30 mega hash each. So let's put in here if I had the same amount of cards it would be about 90 mega hash and that would load up to be about 964 BitTorrent per day. So I'm actually going to make more BitTorrent today um, using Kapow. So we're going to switch over to Kapow and again the reason I'm checking this first is because of this pool address right here. It changes. You see how it's ETC hash or it's Kapow or if you're going to be doing this with Ethereum you need to be doing it with Ethereum. The other thing I will be doing today is also using um, Monero mining on the same CPU. So although the RebTech board can only pull about 200 hashes a second, which is pretty much nothing, I'm going to show you how to give yourself a discount using one computer if you have a CPU to mine with as well. So let's get back into this. Kapow. I am going to need this. I'm going to need this information. And the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to grab this right here. So I'm going to copy that. And we're going to come over back to HiveOS. And we already decided we're going to be mining Raven here. I'm going to add a wallet. Uh, Raven is right there. We're going to paste in that wallet address right there. Okay, so now we're going to need to modify this. I have a notepad saved here with my... Oh, man. I have a notepad saved here with my wallet address. So let's copy that out. And we're going to put that right into here where it says your address. Now you notice I'm leaving the semicolon and the period at the end. You need to make sure you do not delete those. Those have to be there. They're a part of the syntax. Uh, without them, it will not work. So I'm just copy and pasting in my Tron address. And before I go any further, let me get back to this as well. So if we come back up here and I click on the main page and we're going to start scrolling down here. And when I find BitTorrent, you see right here it says TRX. This is the supported network on this token. It is Tron. So if I go further down, we can see Tron or TRX, and it's not a supported token. That's because Tron is its own network. That is its own token. It is a type of proof of stake token, and that's what this BitTorrent token is built onto. Um, there's also Ethereum tokens on here and other things. So because it says TRX below it, I'm actually going to use my Tron address today, and it should show up in my wallet as a Tron token. It'll show up right below it. So uh, back to it. Let me grab that. We have this copied right here, and then we're going to get back into Unminable. That is my Tron address. That's how I got that. So the only other thing I need to change is my worker name. In my worker name, I'm going to name it RX570 today because that's the cards that I have. The wallet name will be uh, BitTorrent. All right, and then we're going to create that. Okay, so now I have my BitTorrent wallet right there. It's all saved up. We're going to select a pool. Uh, for this one, I'm going to choose pretty much any pool because I'm going to be changing it. They don't offer unminable. 
um, you can't do it that way. So I'm going to actually choose one of these pools and I'm going to go advanced configuration here at the bottom. See how I click that and it pops up my choice. I can choose one of these predetermined pools that's already typed out for you with the address and the cert or the port, I'm sorry. But I'm going to click advanced configuration and right here where it says enter URLs. This is where I'm going to grab uh, this address right here. But again, this is ETHash. So if you're mining Ethereum, if your card does best on Ethereum, that's this. We just checked a minute ago, though, that this card is for Kapow. So I'm going to copy this address right here. Okay. Copy. And it says pool have been copied. And then you also notice here it says the alternative port is 1333. So we can also put that into HiveOS as a backup port. So right here, I'm going to just paste in that address. All right, there it is. And then if we wanted to set up that backup port too, we would hit enter to drop it down to another line. And then we're going to go back right here and we're going to add that one, 13333. So we can apply that. Okay, and then what type of miner do I want to use? I like Team Red Miner, especially with these cards. You can choose whatever miner you like with, with this. Um, that's part of the reason I'm setting it up like this. Another option would have been to configure in miner, but depending on what miner you want to use, that can be changed. It changes a little bit. And so because of that, I am setting it up this way. Now, the other thing I want to do is I want to add another miner. I'm going to go over here to XMR, which is Monero. I'm going to add another wallet, okay? And we are going to do the same thing, but right here I've actually chosen, um, let me drag this screen over a little bit, okay, Tron. So I've actually chosen Tron right here, and I will show you why I'm going to do this in here in a little bit, despite this RebTech motherboard really not being able to mine very much. So I'm going to grab this. Oh, and actually right here you can see I've already typed it in. Uh, this RebTech motherboard does about 200 hashes a second, which is, if you know anything about mining Monero, is very, very low. It's almost nothing. However, it will earn a little bit of Tron a day, about 5 Tron a month, which is, again, nothing. But I have a purpose for this. Just hang on, bear with me. We'll get to this. It will actually make a lot of sense here in a minute. Okay. So we're going to get this all set up. Again, I need to copy this right here to get my wallet set up for this. So I've got that copied. We're going to come back over to HiveOS. And right here, we're going to paste that in that I just copied. And it's going to be the same thing. I'm going to use the same Tron address. I still have it copied over here. Okay, that's from my notepad that I pulled. And now right here, again, i got to leave this colon. This colon that I'm bouncing back and forth between, you need to leave that. And you also need to leave this this period here. Don't erase those. If you erase them, it will not work. So all I'm going to do is remove the part that says your address. And I paste it in my Tron address right there. And again, I'm going to name this one uh, RebTech because it's a RebTech motherboard. So everything else has been left alone. The wallet name is now going to be TRX because it's Tron. And I'm going to hit create right here. This will take a second to load. And there we go. So now I have my new wallet set up right here. Um, let me see if I can move the whole window over in OBS so you guys can see a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so now we have that set up. I am going to select a pool. For this pool, it again is the same thing. So I'm going to choose like minor rocks. I'm going to go to advanced configuration here on the bottom and then I'm going to have to enter the uh, pool, the pool URL from unminable. So for this one I'm going to drop over to Monero, right? Random X and it changes it right there. It's now RX. It says it's copied it and then my alternative port again is 13.3333. So let's pop back over to Hive OS and right here we are going to paste that in. I'm going to hit enter to drop down to a new line, and I'm going to paste it again. I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to add that extra port number. That's a backup port in case this 3333 does not work. It will try to talk to 13333. Okay, so we're going to apply that. What miner do I want to use? I want to use XMR new, I believe it is. Mm, XM rig. Sure. 
let's try XM rig AMD and then we're gonna hit create flight sheet now I have my special flight sheet let's come back over here to my workers and we're gonna go to accelero oh, I'm sorry I need to actually go up like this so now we can come to accelero let me drag OBS's screen over a little bit so you can see this side of things and we're going to go flight sheet like this this is the one I'm using now let me scroll down and find that one that I just created there it is minor rocks and minor pool if you guys remember that and let's hit blast off okay and now I'm gonna wait a couple minutes and we're gonna come back and see what this is doing alright so we are back now uh, it's been about uh, about 20 minutes or so and now we have almost 30 mega hash on Kapow showing here, and we have 173.7 hashes a second showing on random X. Now I do want to mention one thing on my flight sheet previously. Uh, let me open up the edit menu here. Uh, I previously chose AMD right here, XMRig AMD, and that tried to mine using the GPU, the RX 570. I did not want to do that. I wanted to mine on my CPU. I should have chosen XMRig old right here. So I did update that, and now it is mining on my CPU and my GPUs. So I have three RX 570s and one RebTech motherboard mining uh, Monero. Okay, so now let's pop over to Unminable and track this progress real quick. So here I am on Unminable. I have BitTorrent right here. I'm going to scroll down a little bit and I'm going to put my address in right there. I just copied and pasted my Tron address because, again, BitTorrent is actually a Tron token. It is on the Tron network. So we're going to track that. And now I already have 1.39 BitTorrent. That's really cool. Uh, it shows nothing on Random X here, but if I go over to Kapow, it shows my RX 570s and it shows about 14 mega hash on the pool side. So the difference again between what it shows here is this is the worker. This is actually Team Red Miner because I'm mining with Team Red Miner reporting 30 mega hash. It is working at 30 mega hash. But the accepted share rate so far is 14 mega hash. So that's the difference there. And now it is tracking, I'm making BitTorrent, that's awesome. I want to do one more thing here, and this is why I'm mining on the CPU. So I'm going to pop up my referral code. So check out this, I've got a referral code right here, and it says, if I share my referral code, I can earn 0.25% of my referrals mining rewards passively. All right, that sounds great. Let me uh, pop this code in right here. Copy that code, okay, so I've just copied. In fact, let me make it visible, I copied it, okay. And now let's come over to Unminable and we're going to edit my wallet again. All right. So we're going to. Hold on. Let me actually go. Let me scroll up a little bit and we'll go to my farm overview and we'll come into wallets this way. Okay. And let me find my wallet real quick. Do, 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 do. Okay, so it says TRX right here. This is my TRX wallet, and it says Reptech at the end. Awesome. Okay, so now, on my Monero one, I'm going to put my... Um, on my Monero one, I'm going to put my BitTorrent referral code, and on my BitTorrent one, I'm going to put my Monero referral code. Okay, so... This one right here, and then it's. Let me go back and show you guys how to do this too. So, if I go back to the BitTorrent page, oh man, okay, there we go. It says right here, this is how to set it up. You see this? It says BitTorrent worker address. So, the same thing as we copied and pasted before, but you put a hashtag at the end and then your referral code. So, I'm going to go back to my farm. So, I've got RebTech right here, and then we're going to go hashtag and then we're going to paste in my referral code and we're going to update my wallet all right sweet so that's updated now you can see it right there and then the next thing i want to do is i would like to find my BitTorrent wallet right here sweet so there's my BitTorrent wallet we're going to do the same thing with a hashtag and we're going to go over and okay i need to pull up my tron address let me copy my Tron address, and we're going to paste that into there and track it first, and make sure it pops up. 
Okay. Uh, is this one showing up? Yes, there's the RebTech motherboard. It's actually pulling 243 hashes a second on the pool. And let's grab my referral code from this. You see how it's different? It's a different referral code. Sweet. Okay, referral code has been copied. Awesome. Now let me come back to Unminable. Or, I'm sorry, HiveOS. I got my hashtag at the end of my BitTorrent wallet address now, and we're going to paste that in there. Okay, so now I have my Monero referral code or my the one the Rebtech motherboard that's mining Monero and receiving Tron that referral code is put into my BitTorrent right and then my BitTorrent referral code is put into my my Kapow or my other one okay so now I'm gonna update this and I'm gonna wait a couple minutes and we're gonna come back all right, so now I've waited a couple minutes, and you'll notice right here now, it says I have a 0.75% mining fee. So what I just did is using the rigs, not the rigs, this is one rig. This is one CPU mining Monero, and three GPUs mining Kapow, and the referral codes are pointed at each other. So this is my Tron right here, and I'm getting a 0.75% fee, okay? And that's because I got a referral from the other one over here so now this is my BitTorrent I've already made three BitTorrent and my fee over here is also 0.75 so I don't have to use anybody else's referral codes if I don't want to I can point my rig at itself and I can receive a discount and I can also mine two different tokens at the same time so I just wanted to share that with you guys today it's pretty cool I think Anyways, you guys have a great one. I really appreciate you watching today. If you could like, comment, subscribe, share the video with your friends. I really appreciate it, and I will see you on the next one.